I don't know about you, but sometimes I get these weird questions pop into my head. And I recently was wondering, am I boiling my eggs right? I spent the last 30 days making hard boiled eggs trying to answer that question. And I think I'm having a full blown existential crisis. <laughs> I'm sorry. You know what? No, I'm not sorry. You're going to get these types of jokes on this channel. And if you want tips, tricks, techniques, recipes, and not just food content, but food conversation, keep that dream alive and subscribe below. Did I eat too many eggs this month? Yes. How many eggs should someone eat in one day? Probably maximum five. What was the most eggs I ate in one day? Eight. Do I regret it? I mean, yeah, that's a lot of hard boiled eggs, but I wanted to discover the best way to get easy to peel, hard boiled eggs. And in this video, I'm gonna talk about the two main techniques to hard boiled eggs and share what I've learned. I grew up in this wild place called the 80s and my mom and dad made hard boiled eggs by boiling the water first, adding the eggs and cooking them for about 10 minutes. That's technique number one. Then one day, my mom came home from, I don't know, like a Tupperware party and decided we're gonna be making hard boiled eggs in a completely different way. You put the eggs in a pot of cold water, let that come to a boil for one minute, and then shut off the heat, and let that sit in the water for 10 minutes. That's technique number two. And that's how I've been making hard boiled eggs ever since. And I've been doing it for so long, I almost forgot why, or even if there was a why. So over the last month, I tested the two techniques, and I thought I cracked the code. And yes, during my research, I read a lot of Food Lab and his articles, and there is no 100% foolproof method to peeling hard boiled eggs. And he says that adding them to boiling water is the way to go. Technique number one. And letting them sit in an ice bath for 15 minutes. And so I tried to replicate that experiment and I just couldn't come to the same conclusion. So I was feeling pretty good about myself. You see, the first two weeks, I was getting great results with all kinds of ways, especially technique number two. And over the next two weeks, I continued testing out the two methods and switching up the variables, ice bath, no ice bath, salted water, no salted water, adding vinegar, even steaming it. And it cracked, but it still cooked beautifully. And I even waited 24 hours to peel an egg. And after two weeks, I was convinced I figured out the best way. And it wasn't technique number one. Take that, Kenji. But over the next two weeks, I couldn't even replicate my own results. New eggs, same techniques. And I found out that maybe Kenji was right. And I've also come to the conclusion that eggs are a bunch of I mean, there is no 100% foolproof method to peeling hard boiled eggs. Don't tell Kenji. So let me share with you what I did discover. But before I do, I feel I'm obligated by YouTube to also address the doneness of the yolks and show that chart that everyone else does. Here's me flipping through the food lab. Wow, look at all the different doneness levels. But here's the thing. This can only serve as a rough guide. There are a lot of factors in your kitchen that can impact your hard boiled eggs, including the technique, the material of the pot, your elevation, your water type, stove power, like how many BTUs the burner has, all of this might influence the cooking time. So with that being said, I'm just gonna encourage you to just try and find out what times work for you. Look, you may want a fully hard boiled egg for egg salad, or maybe you want a jammy inside for your fancy avocado toast, or maybe you want something in between. Which brings me to the real issue. How do you get the perfect peel? And here's what I found what works practically every time, or most of the time. You boil the eggs in whatever technique you choose, and I added one to two tablespoons of plain white vinegar while it was boiling. That's it. And no, you don't taste the vinegar, but there's more. While some do suggest shocking the eggs for 15 minutes, I found that it works for five to 10 minutes, so you don't have to wait that long. And lastly, here's a technique I found that makes peeling a little easier, but again, not 100% foolproof. Tap the bottom of the egg and remove the part first, and then drop it into a Tupperware and then shake it around a bit with a little bit of water and it gently cracks the shell and sometimes it slides right off. Of course, you could just peel it under running tap water, but I try not to waste water. Here are some pros and cons for the two techniques. For technique number one, the pro is that you get a consistent heat of 100 degrees, 212 Fahrenheit, which means you have better control of the doneness. You get a more consistent result for fully cooked yolks in your hard boiled eggs. And over the 30 days, I did find that technique number one offered eggs that were a bit easier to peel, depending on the eggs. Cons, you're more likely to overcook your eggs if you leave them in for an extra minute because the water's boiling. And people were generally afraid of the eggs cracking. It only happened to me once, but anecdotally, that was the main reason people chose to do technique number two. Technique number two pros. It's an easy setup by adding cold eggs to cold water. I think my mom switched to technique number two when my dad was boiling water, forgetting to add the eggs, and then leaving it on the stove for so long it would set the smoke alarm off. Cons. Inconsistent temperature. I found the yellows didn't cook fully after 10 minutes. It got close and I didn't mind it because it still tasted good, but I know that some people really hate that. 
And if you're going to for something less than fully cooked, it might take some real time to figure out. This started out with me questioning if I was boiling my eggs right. But to be honest, if I can end on anything, this is really about exercising critical thinking skills on everything, not just eggs. Don't stop asking questions and trying to find answers. Asking why is a great way to find out a better way, an easier way, or even a different way, especially in the kitchen. So whatever technique you choose, enjoy your eggs. As for me, I'm going back to technique number one, but not because Kenji said so.